Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review and show you how to set up this Amazon Aero Beacon Mesh Wi-Fi Extender. So I've already got an Aero Mesh Network. This is gonna be something I'm gonna plug in to extend my Wi-Fi that's being transmitted from my Mesh Network. This is called like a range extender. It's very simple to operate. We're gonna plug this into an outlet. There's no cables that we plug into it. There is a button on the side. So I've got my Eero uh, Wi-Fi router. It's connected to internet. I've got it plugged in. It's all set up and transmitting Wi-Fi right now. So this is gonna talk to this, but you need to put, you can put this like, say you wanna put this in the garage. As long as this has a decent signal from here, once it gets to this one, it'll radiate the, the signal again. It'll kind of like boost it in this local area. But this has to be able to talk to this or your other Wi-Fi mesh network. If you've got several of these around your house, this has to be able to sniff the Wi-Fi and, and talk to it in order to boost it and extend it. Okay, so click this little plus button up here. We're gonna add a device. We're gonna add a device. Add an Eero device right here. Do you want to add a new Eero device? Add a new Eero device. Okay, so let's plug it in. Go plug it in. So simulate like this was out in the garage. I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, click the little arrow. Make sure it's out in the open. Click the arrow. Okay, so to make sure your tablet or phone is on the Wi-Fi that your Eero is transmitting. And now it's searching for this Eero device. It says it found an Eero beacon. Now, when I plug this in, I didn't get any lights. I didn't have anything really telling me, okay, there is a light up here. That's right, that blue light right there. That should go solid when it connects. It may have been flashing and I didn't see it. Okay, so now it's going to ask me where it's located. I'm going to put the garage. Now, I'm simulating like I put this in the garage. I've got this really close, but if I want to extend my Wi-Fi, I, would, I need more Wi-Fi in the garage. So I'm going to be putting this in my garage. So that was pretty simple. It says your garage beacon is now set up. It has power. It's connected to the internet and it's well placed. Hit finish setup. You're all set. So the connecting up there, it did turn orange, but now it's connecting again. And now this light is white. It's very dim, but it is white now. Okay, so it probably reset the Eero. Now it's back online. Now I can click, there's the garage Eero. It says it's online. I can change the, uh, the status light. I can turn the status light, make it dim. It's not very bright. Oh, it does have a night light. I can turn the night light on. Okay, so it's on ambient, but I'm gonna do a preview right now. Okay, there's the night light. So it does shine down. Hmm. That is really nice. I like that feature. So when it's in ambient, it says it'll come on when that, basically when it gets dark, it'll come on. But you can put it on a schedule or you can have it never come on. I really like that feature. So that was very simple to set up. Um, I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.